Hello ladies and gentlemen, Panzer here and welcome back to Crossout and the game's been updated. We're now at version 0.2.12. I don't know how the version numbers work, but anyway. So how how is the game now? What have they done with it? So to begin with, Pyre launchers have been nerfed. That's the big news. Pyre launchers have been nerfed. How effective that nerf is, is still remains to be seen because what they've done is they've now have fewer missiles in a volley in fact i think i can show this off uh yes this is still here the poor dark Voz, um which I, I believe means present truck or gift truck of some sort so we come bearing gifts so this is loaded up with pyre launchers and apparently now the individual launchers now fire less missiles per volley and they also have a lower speed Yeah, they definitely <laughs> are a lot less effective. Hang on, let's open, um, spawn some bots here so we can target one of them. Right, so let's see if that can actually hit the target now. So obviously if you're firing this many pyre missiles, you are still going to do the damage. They are still doing as much damage as they used to be. But uh, now the number that fire is a lot less. I believe they were single use before, so... Um, I believe that also may affect hurricane launches even, uh, but that isn't stated in the actual patch notes. Uh, but you can see they're firing, a l they're flying a lot slower than they used to, and in fact, I think their turning radius might even be wider as a result. So they're not even uh, able to turn as well as they used to. So close range pyres are going to be even harder to use, I think. Uh, but of course, this is just me testing it out. The game has literally just been updated. So, uh, as I'm recording this, so not sure if that's entirely accurate yet, but it does mean that these will probably find their niche at being much longer ranged weapons uh, than a lot of people might like. So, uh, that's good. So, now on with the rest of the notes actually. So, they've also changed the cricket launchers and the uh, wasp launchers, they're now getting new missiles. But they haven't actually stated what that means uh, very clearly. So let me just open up. Okay, so there we go. Now I've got the the actual page open. Um, so for the cricket and the wasp, they now have proximity fuses. So um, what that means is they're going to be a lot more effective. Let's see if I can show that off. Uh... If I can find one that has it equipped, or if not, let me just ditch that and that, and let's throw some on here. So, oh, we have new icons as well that denote what things are at a glance, which is very, very nice. So we have the wasp launcher here. Uh, we're going to put one and two on there, just somewhere where they can actually just be, and let's just go into test drive mode. So what's been done is that the... They now have proximity fuses, so in the past, instead of them having to hit the ground, uh, or rather, in the past you had to make them hit the ground or hit the target directly to do damage, which is a bit of a problem because they're not very accurate, so last time you had to really aim exactly on the target to really do any damage. Now though, if you fire it close enough, I believe, so let's just fire it off into the distance here, that's not exactly what I intended to do. Let's try to get this over the target. Yeah, I can't really demonstrate this very effectively, but basically what's been done is that if a wasp missile or wasp rocket goes within one meter of the target, it will detonate. And uh, the, for the cricket, that's been increased to two meters. So within that distance, the, the missiles will just detonate. They have proximity fuses now. Now, just going back to the pyres and hurricanes now, the hurricane launchers now have a different launcher degree. Um, so they actually fire at a different angle than they used to, and the Pyre missiles, the number of missiles per volley have been reduced from 8 to 6, and the flight speed is now 45 meters a second, as opposed to being 60 meters a second. So that's pretty big. De that's a pretty big deal, actually, so we'll see how, how much of a difference that makes in actual combat. Uh, much later on down the line. Now, if you're looking for gameplay-wise, this is not really going to be a gameplay video. This is more just an information video. Uh, gameplay videos will resume very shortly, but this is just kind of more for information. So, uh, what else they've done? Now, this is going to please a lot of people, I think, because they have changed 
the way repairs work. Okay, so for repairs, now you don't have the repair tab anymore. You simply right click on any part and you have the repair button there. Now, instead of having to use, for example, in the past you had to use exact items to repair things. That was not exactly what people really like doing, is it? Um, so what you needed to do was to have uh, items of the same type uh, to repair things. Now though, you can just use what is called a spare, and that's a new type of resource. So I don't believe it'll show up here, but what we can actually do now is, let me just salvage I'm going to salvage one of these, and you'll see, if, if I salvage this small wheel, we'll get 10 scrap and 2 to 6 of the white spares. Now, the logos aren't very clear, but these spares are what you use to repair with. So, I'm going to go and salvage that, and now you can see we can repair with one white spare. So, let's do that, and now we have one piece of durability left. And you keep doing that until you repair it. I don't see a faster way of doing this, but it does allow you to incrementally repair things, which is actually um, kind of an interim solution. It's just part of the new system that they're testing out with this patch, and I believe it is still quite a bit better than what we had before. So let me just uh, space that out now so you can see I've got some broken auto cannons here. So let's salvage that, get some scrap. And get some spares for that, and we can use that to repair our auto cannon. And we get one point of a durability back. So that's what you can see here. And there we go. There's the spares there in the storage. So these are rare spares. And so long as they're of the same rarity, we can use the spares to repair other items. So that's kind of the system they're testing out now. It's not finished yet, obviously, um, but it is something that could really do well and of course you can sell these as well these spares can be sold so instead of just selling scrap now you can sell spares to repair items and I think this is a better system than what they had before because you had to buy exact parts to repair things and now you don't have to do that anymore so that's kind of a, a new thing that's really um, going to take off and the same goes for um, uh, the higher rarity items you need rares of the same value so here we need blues, here we need whites, and here we need purples. And of course the same goes for orange parts as well. So, kind of an interim solution there. And I think, hopefully they keep working on the system because I feel like this could actually be quite useful. Because after all, you only need that one point of durability to really make something usable again. So, just like that, by doing that, I now have five medium machine guns that I can take into the next battle and they will have the same uh, structure points as they normally do. So that's really, really good. All right, so that's sort of the main changes that they've made to the game so far. Uh, the, the other things also include some changes to the raids. They've changed some of the difficulty levels in terms of how many um, enemies spawn. So in some of them, for example, uh, if we have a look at... Uh, races now they actually have more enemies per spawn for races but for defense they've um, increased the time between waves so you do have a bit more of a break period between the each individual waves and these are for the hard level uh, raids for siege mode on the other hand all difficulty levels have had um, damage reduction reduced by a full third for things like turret guns and homing missiles which is what's available here, these siege modes. So the actual pump jacks will do less damage to you um, when you know, you're attacking them. So it gives you a little bit more survivability, and I think that's going to be quite good. It makes things a little bit more balanced. Um, obviously, it's not perfect yet, but we'll see how things go later on down the line. So yeah, that's really it for now. Um, I'm going to be doing another video today for Crossout just to show um, some actual gameplay, some normal stuff but for those that are interested that's what's happened so far and it's a really really big set of changes that they've made so um stay tuned for the next one we're going to have a look at what the updated game is really like to play and i'll see you next time